Hey guys, I'm Juana Hosso and welcome back to my channel. Today I forgot to film an intro, but that's okay because it's a makeup collection and it's all about the makeup, not about me. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys my makeup collection so that you kind of have a feel for what I have and ask me for tutorials or reviews or any of that fun stuff based off of what I have already. Just about everything that I have, I handpicked out myself. I would like to do a swatches video or a review video or just different things based on you guys' request. I did lay it all out. I'm kind of working on my storage and trying to get that set up. So I went ahead and laid it all out for you guys to, just so that we could breeze through, through things more easily. So yeah, let, let's not wait any longer and get into this video. Alright, so the first thing I'm talking to you guys about is the Match Co. Foundation, My Perfect Complexion. Um, I did a whole review video on this, so I'm not really going to talk about it. I just think it's really cool that it has my name on it. So I'm going to link this video in the description box so you guys can check it out. Next foundation I have in my collection is the Lumi Cushion Foundation by L'Oreal. I feel like these do not get enough hype whatsoever. They come with a little spongy thing. You open it up and it's a literal sponge that you can uh, dip your brush into or your beauty blender, whatever stuff. Um, there are some kind of health concerns with it just as far as you don't want to double dip whenever you're applying because that spreads bacteria, stuff like that. But there are ways to avoid that. So with that being said, I would highly recommend this foundation. It's very light coverage for all you beauties that don't want a lot of coverage. Just something lightweight that doesn't feel heavy on your face. Next up, we have the Doing and Smooth Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. And we moved that over and brought up my all-time favorite Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. You guys know I love this foundation. I rave about it so often. The Too Faced Born This Way foundation that I don't quite use enough. I just feel like it's, it's not for my skin. The Cogenda Aqua foundation, I use that mostly in the winter when I'm very, very pale. Here I have the Makeup Forever Liquid Lift foundation. Uh, this foundation I don't talk about enough, but it is an amazing foundation for more mature skin. I do use this on my mom. And here's my Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation that I use mostly on my body whenever I need to cover up some redness or imperfections or just perfect things. It's also very more, much more tan because, I mean, you know. Um, the Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I also love this foundation. Um, it's very, it just, nothing compares to my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm sorry, I said it. Nothing compares to it. But this is a very nice foundation if you have that $62 to spend. Here I have my Nude Air by Dior. Super high coverage, very, very light foundation. Next, I have my Stila Stay All Day foundation and concealer. This foundation does have a concealer at the top. Not a fan of the concealer, but the foundation's pretty good. Next, I have True Match by L'Oreal. Next, I have the Studio Waterway SPF 30 foundation by MAC. And this is my Ride or Die Summer Foundation. Ugh, I just, I love it. It's water weight. It's so awesome and it gives me pretty good coverage. Next, I have my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. You already know how I feel about this. I ain't gotta tell you. <laughs> Lately, I've been super into this Lancome 24 hour makeup. I've used it on a couple clients that have brought it in and I've always thought it was heaven so i have to try it out for myself and that's what i've been using lately and i'm loving it now i'm going to talk about my setting sprays a little more fairly quickly here's my makeup forever mist and fix amazing setting spray it'll really help your foundation stay all day long the smashbox primer water if you have really dry skin this is amazing for you to use to prep and to prime 
as well as the MAC Prep and Prime. Both those uh, setting spray or primer waters are very, very, very good for very dry skin. Next, I have a setting spray that I don't talk about enough. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It will leave your skin so dewy, it is unreal. Like, you just have to try it out for yourself to see what I'm talking about. These are some of the powders that I have. I have the MAC Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish uh, Foundation, or foundation powder, I guess you could call it. I use that whenever I'm not feeling like doing a full face of makeup and just wanna have a little coverage on my skin. I also very much, very often use the Smashbox hydrating powder uh, love, love 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 this for the summer because in the summer i actually do get very slightly oily it's not much but it does happen and i just really like it because it's hydrating and it soaks up my oils at the same time i don't know i'm a fan love 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 this love you smashbox thank you for making this next i'm gonna share some of my primers with you guys here i have the makeup forever step one base corrector uh, I use this on my very very red skin it really 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 works like that's an understatement I am such a fan of this primer because it skin equalizes me like literally like what it says is what it does let me tell you honey next I have the pore professionals ride or die product it literally erases your pores if you're super oily this is something you absolutely need because typically when you're very oily you have very open pores this will make your skin look flawless and your makeup not sink into your pores I also have the makeup forever step one skin equalizer for hydrating for when my skin is very very dry uh, they also have the nourishing one which I'm wanting to get for next winter this is the makeup forever radiance primer it'll make your skin look very radiant and pretty and just like you're glowing from within but usually when it comes to things like that I like to get my Becca backlighting priming filter it's awesome oops knocked over my Marc Jacobs coconut hydrating primer but that's another one of my primers that I absolutely adore it's very 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 hydrating most hydrating primer in the game hands down here I have the so very famous Nivea men post shave balm insensitive excellent primer if you want your makeup to stay all day long I'm showing you guys my highlighters now I have the glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills we've all seen it on Instagram I have the Laura Geller gilded honey highlighter oh darling by Mac is another one of my favorite most intense highlighters as well as the so Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills oh and let's not forget two of my all-time favorites Mary Lou Manizer and the Laura Mercier highlighter 01 now we're moving on into the blushes and setting powders that I have. I have a couple NYX blushes, uh, Studio Makeup Blushes, Milani Blushes, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, this uh, Bare Minerals blush I believe it is, uh, in Flare, and then I have the Holidays palette which is amazing and such nice uh, packaging. I love, love, love the glitter. Here I've got the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. Um, this is very, very good if you have very oily skin. And the brightening powder by Laura Mercier as well. My favorite powder ever for under the eye and just brightening up areas. You guys excuse my chubby little fingers and my undone fingernails. Um, I haven't had much time to do them but ignore them. <laughs> Here I'm showing you my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit as well as my RCMA Cream Contour Kit. The RCMA Cream Contour is, I feel like, better for lighter skin tones while this Medium Contour Cream Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills is better for medium to dark skin tones. Here I have some primers, my Soft Ochre Paint Pot which is my go-to primer, this MAC 24 hours. If you really need a good primer that will not transfer your eyeshadows, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect one for that. The glitter glue is really good too, but 
I mean, that's preferably for glitter, but it's a great eyeshadow as well. I mean, eyeshadow base primer as well. And yeah, that 24 hour tattoo shadow, I believe, is by Maybelline, and it's a complete dupe for the soft ochre paint pot. It's like $7 versus like $22. It's freaking awesome. Here are a couple of my eyeshadow palettes, the Naked Smoky Eye Palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette, which is super duper cute. I love the little heart shape and all that fun stuff that it has. I'm loving, loving, loving that pink shadow, that bright pink one. I'm really trying to come up with a look for the bright pink because I want a bright pink eye look. I just love pink. Pink's like my favorite color. I feel like it's perfect for spring too. So I'm definitely gonna be creating a look with that palette soon. Um, my Naked 2, I got a request for that palette. So I'll be making a look for that one too soon. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, so much better than the second one. This is the first one right here. And I just love the consistency of all the shadows. I love what they look like. I love how they smell. It, they're just so pretty and shimmery like give it a little Mac flick fix plus spritz and it will be amazing this champagne truffle I think is the name is my favorite color of all time easily here I have the peanut butter palette also by Too Faced I'm dying to create a look with this I actually haven't even touched it which I very much regret but hopefully I will be making one Soon. Next, I have my Ombre Rouge palette by Becca. This is a perfect everyday palette. It's amazing for just creating simple looks. I definitely want to show you my go-to look with this palette as well. Perfect pigmentation. This is all you need for a complete eye look. Next, I'm sharing with you guys my Lorac Unzipped Gold palette, which is absolutely stunning that just look at that shimmeriness and the pigmentation is to die for here I have a few contour palettes I don't use this one enough by any means this is the Lorac Pro the pigmentation in this one is also amazing I would definitely recommend it it's right up there with the Kat Von D shade and light palette honestly Especially in terms of consistency, this is my second Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette that I'm going through and I'm about to hit pan on it as well. I live and ride for this palette. NARS Laguna Bronzer. And then I have this NYX bronzer that I'm not necessarily a fan of. It's in the shade Light. I like it for a blush, but not really for a bronzer because it has a very reddish undertone and I just don't think that's flattering. Next, I have my Coco Contour Palette. Ah, by Too Faced, it's so amazing. This is the greatest setting powder in a contour palette ever. Greatest contour shade ever. And then it even has the greatest bronzer ever. This palette is so complete. I'm not a fan of the highlighter because it's very, very, very shimmery. But other than that, ugh, love, 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 love this contour palette. Now this is something every sh girl should invest in. It's the Little Black Book of Bronzers by Too Faced. It has all their bronzers and it even has a little skit on the side as to what days you should wear which bronzer and stuff like that. I think it's super cool, super affordable, super convenient. I think sometimes they have it on sale for $32. Uh, it has a lot of product. It's great to try every single bronzer in their collection. Here I have some more eyeshadows. Uh, these are my glitter injections, shimmery shadows. They're like glitter, pressed glitter that is super convenient because if you know glitter, you know it likes to go everywhere. Well, these are pressed and they stay put just where they are. They're beautiful. I usually use these whenever I'm freelancing for anybody that wants some extra glitter. Next, I have two Z palettes. One of the Z palettes is full of makeup geek 
eyeshadows, which is this one right here. And then the second one is half Makeup Geek, half MAC shadows. In case you didn't know, MAC shadows are now $6 in, versus the $12 that they were before. They are slightly smaller than Makeup Geeks, but they have amazing quality. Next, I'll just be skimming through my lip products. I don't really want to go too much into them because I do want to make a swatches video. I feel like that'd be so much fun. You guys let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in watching. Next, I'm showing you guys my little drawers. In this drawer, I keep all my concealers, my eyebrow stuff. The reason I do that is because I do carve my eyebrows out with concealer and I just feel like it's very, very convenient to have them all together. I also have my highbrow by Benefit in there and my Becca eye correcting concealer. Here I have all my eyeliners, my gel liners, my liquid liners, my pencil liners. All things eyeliners are in this drawer. Next I have all my mascaras. I have tons of mascaras. I'm a mascara fanatic. I love long, beautiful eyelashes. That one's my favorite. Lights, camera, lashes. I have two of those. Here are all my single shadows, especially ColourPop shadows, which are amazing shadows. Super pigmented, super moussey. Will last you for forever and a day. This is my favorite. It's Weenie by ColourPop. And in my last one, I have all my contouring stuff, just like the highlighters and stuff like that. So, and in this little bu bucket, basket, whatever, I have all my big eyeshadow palettes. Well, here, I really, I keep all my eyeshadow palettes, but these are just, you know, the bigger ones that I didn't want to put on the table at the time. I have the 35K by Morphe, the 35W by Morphe, the 35O, the 9C for contouring, the Vice palette, this Make It Forever eyeshadow palette, and the Gwen Stefani palette. I have several palettes. So if you guys ever want to see a look with any of them, definitely let me know. I'd absolutely love to create some. Now last but definitely not least is my Makeup Forever uh, flash palette with 12 colors in it. I don't talk about this palette enough. I absolutely love this palette. I want to make a whole video on this palette. It's about, it's kind of expensive, but it's well worth it. There's so many uses to it. So with that being said, I'll end this video and um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. I love hearing back from you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, anything at all. Connect with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm always available for you guys. So with that being said, thank you again so, so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, may your eyebrows be fleek, your eyeshadow blended, and your concealer fully creaseless. Thank you all so much. Mwah.